The Gretzky game focuses on offensive zone play and defensive zone coverage. It begins with three players from each team in the middle with an extra attacker below each offensive goal line. The coach spots a puck into the middle to start play. On change of possession, teams must pass to their extra attacker, or Gretzky, before they can attack. In this game, Gretzky is only a passer from below the goal line and cannot score. When the opposing team gains puck possession, support players must move and open up to the puck for quick transition opportunities. In this case, the puck carrier holds onto the puck too long, allowing the white team to close off the passing lanes. Attack opportunity lost. Here, Blue moves into good defensive position. However, in this game, there is no need to defend Gretzky as he cannot score. In this situation, the backside player is put into a difficult position trying to cover two players and a scoring opportunity is given up. Next, Blue does a good job of pursuing the loose puck and winning the battle, getting the puck to their Gretzky, creating offensive transition. Yet White does a poor job of transitioning to defense and Blue scores a four on one goal against. Blue again wins the loose puck, but this time White does a better job of transitioning to defense and hustles to the right defensive spots in the ice. Notice that they don't puck stare at Gretzky, instead they do a good job defending with body and stick position, keeping the puck to the outside. 